In this video we're going to be creating a Drupal Ajax simple form. We're going to duplicate a form that we created in the previous video. We're going to duplicate the root of it so that we have um, another instance of another form with its own root and we're going to convert it into Ajax. So uh, in our Drupal instance, we already have the module with the non-Ajax form. So what we want to do is we want to create another form that would be triggered by Ajax. So without reloading the page. So let's jump to our code base and under SRC form, let's go ahead and duplicate the simple form that we have there and let's call it simple Ajax form. That's perfect. And let's go ahead and uh, change also the name at the top, simple Ajax form. And here let's change its ID into simple Ajax form. That's perfect. And what we want to do is we want to remove everything that we have here from submit form. And we want to uh, calculate uh, the sum of the two numbers without submitting the form. So let's go ahead and remove the submit and let's create first a form element that would be hosting basically the output of the uh, sum of the two numbers. So let's call it message and let's simply say it's of type uh, markup it would be basically a simple diff and we can here say markup um, let's create a diff with class um, result message and that's it. That's perfect. So we have a uh, form element that will host the output. Uh, let's go ahead and create a form element that will basically trigger the uh, the summing so we would uh, call it actions and it could be uh, type it could be simple button and uh, value would say again calculate and uh, here we uh, we should uh, declare a Ajax subarray which would uh, have the callback uh, basically this would be the name of the callback that we're going to be uh, declaring here in this class so let's say set message let's call it set message and that's perfect so we already have a form with uh, uh, the message where we would have the sum and we have a button that is called uh, that will call the uh, callback set message so let's go ahead and create this set message it's going to be a public uh, 
function uh, so set message is completely random uh, name so we can call it calculate uh, or something but set message is fine and here we should have again the, uh, the same things that we have in the submit again I, uh, I think it's a good idea to pass the form by reference and here we'll do something interesting we'll use the Ajax response let's go ahead to api.drupal.org and search for Ajax response So for namespace it's Drupal core Ajax. Uh, let's go ahead and include it at the very top. We say use Drupal core uh, Ajax and then Ajax res response. That's perfect, and we we'll use also uh, the one called uh, HTML command. And in our set message, we're going to uh, create a res response and it would be a new instance of the ajax response and uh, for the response would have we could use at command if i recall correctly uh, let's go ahead and check here at command yes uh, let's go ahead and res response then add command and here in the add command we could create a new HTML command and uh, in the HTML command we can say uh, where to change something like it would be in the uh, result message class so we would use the selector dot result message and here we would say with what to uh, to change here so it would, it would uh, simply create some markup like a div that is class let's say my top message and this of course like this and then uh, we can say this uh, the result is result and here we can declare result which would be the sum of the uh, form state get value plus form state get value first with number one and then with number two exactly number one plus number two so we're basically making this translatable and we are passing to the result the sum of the two 
form state variables and in the end we just have to return the response that's perfect and the last thing we want to do is we want to basically create a new root for our ajax form so we'll call it simple ajax ajax form so we say simple ajax form and here we say simple ajax form Sim since the name of our simple ajax form class is simple ajax form our cool ajax form that's perfect so let's go ahead and clear the cache and then see something is wrong that's that's completely normal to to have some troubles while developing what's the problem the website encounter an explicit the syntax or unexpected variable in the ajax form on line 32 it's probably something wrong there ah yeah so it's just this bit here and actions we also have to yeah it's completely normal to have uh, such uh, problems but it's usually something really small so let's jump to our newly created route and see if that works simple ajax form Ooh, looks good uh, our cool ajax form so it's and we see also from the title that it's basically the other form the newly created form let's say 33 plus 33 which would be 66 yeah the result is 66 and we get it without uh, submitting and refreshing the the page great if you like this video please check the links in the description like the video ask if you have any questions and thanks for watching